By definition, the distance formula measures the length of a line segment given its two points. Now, this is the formula that we're going to use today in finding the length or the distance of two points connected by the line segment. So for our example, let's say we have points P and Q given by this graph right here. And if we connect point P and point Q, it will create a line segment. Now our task today is to find the length or the distance between point P and point Q using the distance formula that we are using today. The distance formula is equal to the square root of the difference of x squared and x sub 1 squared plus the difference of y squared and y sub 1 quantity squared. So let's say P and Q is a given point in our xy plane where P is at 2, 3 and Q is at 7 or 5 and 7. By using our distance formula, we'll be able to measure the distance between these two points. And the first step that we need to do is to organize our points and label each of the points by their respective x coordinate and y coordinate. So our first point here is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. And the second point will be our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now using the formula and by direct substitution, we have d is equal to the square root of 5 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 3 squared. So I just used the formula to solve for the distance between these two points. And by simplifying our equation, so we have square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which gives us 9 plus 12 and get adding the numbers 9 and 16, I mean, is equal to 25. So therefore, the square root of 25, which is 5, is the distance between point P and point Q based on our distance formula. So this is how we use our distance formula in finding the distance between two points in this particular problem. Now in our example, we have to find the length of the line segment given a is equal to 3 and negative 2 and b is equal to negative 5 and negative 1. Now since we're looking for the length of a line segment, we can use the distance formula to measure the length of this line segment right here, which is shown in our work in this particular um, set of problems. So we have the distance formula, which gives us two points. So we have 3 and negative 2 for the first point and negative 5 and negative 1 for our second point. After you labeled your points with your corresponding x and y axis or coordinate, you'll be able to use the distance formula and by direct substitution, we'll have the square root of negative 5 minus 3 squared plus negative 1 minus negative 2 squared. And by simplifying our equation, we'll have the square root of 64 plus 1, which gives us the square root of 65. So the distance between the line segment AB is equal to the square root of 65. And if we're going to show line segment AB in our graph, this is point A and this is point B. And if we connect these two points, we'll have a line segment. And according to our formula, the dis distance between A and B measures square root of 65. And if we're going to use our calculator to uh, visualize what square root of 65 is, square root of 65 is simply 8.06 units. So if we're going to measure point A to point B, it is simply 8.06 units using our calculator. Now this is how we use the distance formula in finding the length or the distance of two points.